everyone so we are doing a story time video today and this story time is about my ex-boyfriend who is now gay and it's quite it's it's a funny story um because basically i started going out with this guy this was like quite a few years ago um who it was very weird from the get-go there was kind of a lot of um chasing around where I liked him and I thought he liked me and then I thought he didn't and then I found out that he did and he was very very into playing games everything was a game and you know if he'd call you and then you'd call him he'd call you and like you wouldn't pick up if I'd be busy and then you'd call him back like a minute later and then he'd be like oh you called me back quick and it, it was just very much, you know, into the game playing of, like, how long does it take each person until they text the other person? And it, it was like that. Thinking about it now, it was actually really pathetic because I'm so not into that kind of thing. But he, he was very much like that. And he played games all the time. He'd, like, um, I remember once, like, he had to go away um, to visit family. And like, then, like, didn't speak to me for, like, two weeks. I didn't hear from him. And then, um, and then he would, like call me back and after he'd got back and sort of be like yeah I was just really busy I didn't have time I was this I was that and it was one of those sort of weird like I don't even really want to call it a relationship because it wasn't we were kind of going out but it was a bit all over the place and he he was a really attractive guy um well at the time I thought he was I'm kind of thinking about it now and not really but um he was very very muscly very like he went to the gym all the time and everything and he he did it wasn't that he was feminine necessarily but he kind of had strange reactions to things um sometimes but i just kind of put it down to him being you know quite sensitive or whatever but then and then he'd have like weird like fits of like jealous rage if some other guy talked to me and it was just all a bit a bit weird and then i'd get cross and then we wouldn't speak for a few weeks and then he'd apologize and it was just it wasn't good you know it wasn't it wasn't going anywhere um we never had one point where it was kind of things were just like normal and happy and fine it was always sort of game playing and stuff and after we actually started sort of going out i kind of lost interest as well because all the game playing was going on and i just wasn't that fussed um but he he had a roommate a guy roommate and this roommate was very very quiet um and you kind of i didn't really know what to make of him because he didn't really speak but i kept hearing from people who knew him that he was gay and then there were kind of whispers going around from people saying that you know they were both gay and they were in a relationship together and i kind of thought oh yeah right whatever um but it kept happening where people would mention it and I started to sort of think oh really and then one day um we were out and I sort of said you know that lots of people think that you guys are together and blah 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 and he kind of his answer was really strange he wasn't like shocked or mortified but he just he was just like you know no it's you know people just need to mind their own business people are just gossiping and you know it doesn't it doesn't why, why would anyone think that no it's not but didn't sort of profusely deny it. He just didn't seem bothered. And I thought, oh, okay. But it kept being said and people kept saying it. And then I started to sort of think about it. And I started to sort of realise as well that, like, physically, he wasn't, like, he didn't... Sometimes he seemed like he was and then other times he didn't seem like he was, like, a really sort of physical person um, within the relationship. And I just kind of thought, well, you know, not, not everybody's like that. Not all men are like that. Um, but it, but it did feel a bit weird. And then one day, this is like really, really telling. Um, we went to the beach, um, and it was with like loads of my family and friends. And he um, was invited, and we went to the beach. And he stripped off to go in the sea, and he had like tiny, tiny little boxer shorts on. And he ran into the sea, and I. It sounds really horrible, but I like I died a little bit inside when I saw him because it was just so feminine, and it's like not that there is anything wrong with that at all. Like I don't have any problem with that, and I think you know whatever you choose to be and whoever you choose to be is absolutely great and fine and good for you. But it was just a bit I don't 
know. I just had a moment where I kind of thought, hmm, no, that that's not, that's, that's not it. Um, and I keep looking in the viewfinder because I feel like I look really shiny. But I think it's because the light in here is really weird. Um, but he just, something about it just didn't seem right to me. And then other people who were there kind of were looking at him. And I could tell that everybody was thinking that. And then I started to think, am I being just, am I just like being paranoid here? So later on that day, I just sort of sat him down and I said, look, everybody's saying this. And I just have a, f a feeling that something's not right. And like you, you can tell me, you know, if, if you're bi, you can you can tell me. I just I want to know. And he sort of again didn't really profusely deny or seem shocked, but he was just like, oh, you know, people just people just make assumptions and and just sort of change the subject. And then I just sort of thought, no, this this is not gonna this is not gonna work. So I just sort of said to him, okay, well, this, you know, this isn't for me then, I'm sorry, but, and broke up with him, which he took, you know, he was fine, I don't think he particularly cared, um, and we broke up. Lo and behold, a month later, um, I heard from somebody who um, was a mutual friend of ours that he was openly, like, openly came out that he and he was living and in a relationship with said roommate um which <laughs> i wasn't like really shocked and i i like this is really tmi as well but i hadn't i hadn't um had sex with him so that that was kind of you know i, I wasn't super super involved in that way um and it just i kind of thought huh i knew that I knew that I was right. I had a feeling and you told me that like it wasn't. And at one point he was like, you know, no, you're just imagining things. I wasn't imagining things. He did. And that, and it was fine. Like I thought, well, you know, good for you that you've like, told everybody or whatever. But I just kind of thought, I wish you could have just told me because it, it you know, I was all right with it. And then all of it made sense in that why it was kind of really elusive all the time. And he kind of never wanted to actually properly be in a relationship because he wasn't sure what he was doing um and I, I think about it like now and I do find it quite funny um and he since then you know I've seen like on um on Facebook and things he like sent me a friend request years ago and he he was openly out and gay and just you know good, good for him whatever but um I just I kind of just did think it was a bit funny because it didn't even wait very long after we broke it up it was like oh okay I'm gay and I was like I knew you were <laughs> I knew it but yeah um that's that's that so let me know if you've had anything like this happen to you because I think this is really funny I've I've had twice actually two guys who pretended like they were um who were like good friends pretended that they were gay and then it turns out they actually weren't. It's quite, it's quite funny. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you would like me to do another one um, of these type of story time videos. Um, and let me know if you've had any experiences like this as well, because it's, just, it's quite funny. It's just like you know, just, just I, I get you know he couldn't, he wasn't there yet, or whatever. But it, would, it was a bit like, oh god funny. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time.